Hello everyone, welcome to PUC Online Classroom. Today we are going to finish Unit 14, okay? But the first activity that I am going to start is activity number 10, Grammar Focus, Defining and Non-Defining Relative Clause. This, sorry. So, I think you already learned from level 3, which is about defining a relative clause. But today's lesson, we're going to compare defining and non-defining relative clauses. But before I bring you the uh, the handout, so let's take a look at the example of this two version, and we will go further. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. A dialect coach is a language specialist. All right, she works with actors on their actions. So you can say a dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents all right and then defining relative clause give i'm sorry the first one defining relative clause is used to identify people the, the other one is give further information about the people but it should be more than this but let's try only this first okay a location scout finds places to shoot scenes he travels all over the world Location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As you can see right here, uh, when you say give further information about people or place or something, it can be all right. But this one we focus on person, so I would like to focus only person, everybody. Okay, actually, we have something or thing as well, but we, we mainly focus on people. And as you can see right here, it's about person, location scout is a person who finds a place where to shoot, okay? And he or she has to travel all around the world. So when the person try to find a place to shoot, it means that he will need to travel, right? So he will need or she will need to find the right place to shoot. So the meaning right here and the meaning right here are similar, okay? Um, sorry. Yeah, well, we're not, we don't want to say the same, all right, but they are almost, okay, the same, okay, so that's why I prefer to say similar, okay. So whenever you have similar information or the further information, that is non-defining. And if you compare non and define with this two, so define, we don't have any punctuation like comma, okay, but this one, we do have comma, and you will learn, uh, you know, why we have one comma or two commas, okay? But in this case, we have two commas. So let's get it started with the handout. And the first one, uh, I would like to focus on defining, so used to identify people, things, the speaker means. So, but our lesson is only the people, so let me focus on the people, all right? Let me ignore the things uh, within these examples. So these, there are three relative pronouns, like who for people, which for things, and that for both. So that is optional. So I will not talk about which, but who, okay, and that. So Kai is the person who bought my bike. I think you remember this because these two are related. So that's why we can combine them using relative pronoun who. And then whenever you combine this, who bought my bike is a relative clause or you can say um, defining and why do we say defining okay so if I remove this so Kai is the person you might not understand right so it's the person whose person what kind of person is he or she we don't know that's why the information that we need to explain the person is very important so when it is important, we call defining. So we need to define. So define means to give definition, right? So we don't define the car, but we define the person. So because we don't know that person, so we want to give meaning to the word person. So that is the reason we need some kind of relative clause to define that, to explain, to modify that, right? So that is the reason we need to have it back in order to have a complete meaning so so car is the person who bought my bike you see that so with with who bought my bike is clear enough but without we just say so car is the person we don't know exactly okay the meaning is not clear enough uh, i don't focus on which but let's go on to next 
she would like to marry a man okay who knows how to cook so suppose that I remove this okay so let me remove this she she would like to marry a man who what what kind of man so we we, we don't know it is not clear enough all right that is the reason we need to define a man right here so we need to to understand about a man what kind of person is he is okay so that is the reason the information given is very important. So who knows how to cook modifies a man, which is a noun. So that is the reason this one is important. So we call defining. Okay. Hopefully you get it. And it can be subject and object. All right. As you can see right here, we have subject and object. So I will stick. I uh, will stick the this and that with you so that you can uh, read by yourself because I'm not going to explain subject and object. Okay. Uh, it would take so much time so because the most important thing is about how to identify it is defined and undefined okay so once again in order to find out that is a defining relative clause you need to remove that clause you need to remove the relative clause first to see the main clause if it is clear enough or not for you okay so suppose that so okay, is the person you see that if you remove this it is not clear we don't know all right that's why we need to define the person okay we need to give more meaning to the person in order to understand what you know the person is or the meaning of the sentence okay so that's why we call defining relative clause and whenever it is a defining re defining relative clause we don't have any punctuations okay we don't have comma okay so now let's go to non-defining relative clauses. So non-defining, according to our lesson, we have only one, which is about further or additional information or extra information. So in other words, you can simply say, um, let me remove this full stop. Okay, so this one should be uh, extra information, okay. So additional information or extra information are the same, not different. So we have three rules, but I'm going to focus on two. Okay, give further information and proper noun. So why we call non-defining? Because the noun that we give, the noun that we modify, the noun that we define, it's just an extra information. It sorry, not an extra. It just extra information or it just the additional idea this additional information so they are not you know this the different so the meaning of the additional information or the extra information is the same as the main clause so I will show you what I mean by saying that B proper noun so when you define proper noun that relative clause is a non-defining relative clause okay so if you define the noun that you don't know proper noun means specific noun like person with a name a place with a name okay puc just an example uh, mr johnson okay so that is a proper noun so that is the reason whenever you define proper noun uh, you don't need to uh, Actually, the meaning is is clear enough. That's why you don't need to define, okay? But in English, you have to write that. But the difference is only uh, the comma, okay? The punctuation. Whole clause modifying, uh, I will ignore this, but I, I will explain when it, whenever it goes to some kind of this exercise right here. So take a look at this example first. The computer which has become part of our everyday lives was invented in okay 1994 and this is an extra information about this because the computer was invented in this one and this is an additional giving all right and of course the computer is is important in our day, everyday life uh, i think this one is not clear enough uh, you can ignore this but let's go to Hawaii. 
Uh, Hawaii, which consists of eight principal islands, is a ferry vacation spot. Okay, it's a ferry vacation spot. So, if we take a look at this example, Hawaii is a proper noun. All right. So when it is a proper noun, which consists of eight principal islands, is a non-defining relative clause. And whenever it is a non-defining relative clause. If it is in the middle of the sentence, uh, suppose that I, I remove this, okay? So let me remove this, okay? So if I remove this, it's okay. We can understand that Hawaii is a verification spot, right? So we don't need the missing information. So the information given, if, I, if we, we bring it back, all right, it's just in... It's just in the noun, all right? The, the more meaning of the word Hawaii, because we know that it consists, consists of eight principal islands, all right? But suppose that Hawaii, look at, look at the word Hawaii, is a proper noun, is a place, is a proper noun, it's clear, it's specific. So whenever it is specific like this, when you define it, all right. When you want to give information about Hawaii, not defined. So it is considered to be non-defining because it is not necessary. So when you say uh, non-defined, it means that not important. So you you will take a look at some kind of grammar book, and they will use non-essential, non-restrictive, okay, things like this. But anyway, it's just a matter of words, and you don't really care much about that. So, uh, just an undefining, we don't define because this one is clear enough. Why it's clear enough? Because it is proper noun, that is letter B. Okay, Mr. Lee, there's another one, you see that. So, once again, if uh, we have a relative clause inside the main clause, we need to have two commas. But if this non-defining relative clause is at the end of the sentence, there is only one comma, all right? Uh, hopefully you can find the differences because when it put inside this clause, the main clause, sure, you need to have two commas, okay? But then whenever you have at the end, but make sure that the noun you don't want to modify all right, the, the, the noun that you modify is at the end of the main clause, okay? Uh, next one, Mr. Lee is proper noun, you see that? Beer gets, so it is also proper noun, you see that? So it's about proper noun, mostly, okay? So what about the first one, A? Uh, the, f the first example is not clear enough to define A, but let me bring you back to the book uh, to see example. In um, our yeah lesson, so let me try somewhere define undefined right here. Okay, let me pick up undefined for for give further additional information or extra information. Okay, which means that we have the same information or let's say extra or same information. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to say same, but similar, but let me make it the same, okay, right here. So, okay, number four. Uh, this exercise, you need to write D for defining and ND for non-defining. And uh, let me choose number four as an example because it is non-defining. And the way we know this, just because it is a... Um, extra the same information or give further additional information okay so let me explain you why a movie producer who controls the budget okay think about that a movie producer we don't know but who controls the budget controls the budget budget means money okay that is one clause who controls the budget is one clause that is a relative clause and it is non defining why okay let me explain decide how money will be spent you see that a movie producer decides how money will be spent that is a main clause and look at that decide how money will be spent 
it's similar to controls the budget you see that the, these two meanings are the same or maybe similar okay yeah so when these two are the same or similar this considered to be extra information that is rule letter a to give further information or extra the same information so when you happen to see something like this okay so you know exactly that it is a non-defining, non-defining, all right? Okay, so let me tell you why it is defining, okay? Let's just try A. A stunt person is someone who stands in for an actor during dangerous scenes, okay? So let's stop right here. A stunt person is someone. Let ignore who stands in for an actor during dangerous scenes. If you just read a stunt person is someone, do you get any meaning? You don't really understand, right? Okay, so who stands in someone? So this clause, this relative clause defines someone or give more information about someone. All right? If we understand, if you say some a stunt person is someone and you can understand the meaning, then of course the relative clause after that is non defining. Okay, we don't need to, to define because we understand that. But this one is a per is someone. We don't we don't know that person, right? It's not clear enough. So that is the reason is this defining. Why? Because you might compare another part. Someone is not proper noun, right? If you compare to non defined someone is not a proper noun and the same information of course not someone and this one stand in for an actor you see that the, these two meanings are different so when the, when the, the meaning of the relative clause is different from the main clause and the person that we define is not clear it's not proper noun then it is defining okay once again so you need to compare only two meanings so first if the relative clause right here meaning is different and if the relative clause right here modifies a person that we don't know not proper now then it is defining but if you take a look at this one li is clear proper noun then of course it is non defining and it's understand that so right here this is defined and number four is non defined so right here who controls the budget is in the is in the main clause then you have to have two commas one right here and the other one right after the budget okay hopefully you get the answers and if you have questions feel free to ask me in our group chat okay don't worry about that and your job is to answer to the question A and B, all right? I'm not going to give you the answer for this time. I'd like you to go through A and B, okay? Once, once you finish this, you can go on to reading. Finish the reading by just going through from the first paragraph to the fifth paragraph and answer to the last two parts, A and B, okay? And I will give you an answer for this later. So once again, if you have any question, ask me in our Telegram group chat and we'll answer to your questions, okay? Again, defining relative clause is a clause that we use to define something or someone. Right here, we talk about person or people. So, relative clause, defining relative clause is used to define or to modify uh, a person that is or who is not clear, all right? But non defining, Okay, this is only one information, okay, is to give further information or having the same extra information. The second one is to modify the, or to define the proper noun, which is the person or the place that is clear enough. Most Mostly is about name and whole clause modifying. Uh, we ignore this, but you might happen to see uh, some exercise right here that we need. Let us see. 
and which is an undefined relative loss. Okay. All right. So that's it for today, everyone. Uh, thank you so much once again. Question, go ahead, leave the question in our group chat, and I will answer to your question. All right. Goodbye, everyone.